my name's Maddie. Um, I'm 31 years of age and uh, I walked with the team Spirit of the Dragon. So the name of the team Spirit of the Dragon came around because uh, for me dragons are quite symbolic. They represent, I guess, resilience through adversity. Um, they embody um, determination uh, and the willingness and the, the perseverance to continue to self-improve. Uh, and I chose the name Spirit of the Dragon because I hoped that the team would encapsulate that that idea. The Spirit of the Dragon consists of me uh, and I've got four of my really good friends. So we've got Jack, Ellie, Lachlan and Stephen and they all climbed up to the top of Kosciuszko with me. So when Maddie first mentioned forming a team to climb Cosy, I was really excited about it. I was like, yeah, let's do this uh, because her, she had quite a rough experience and I think it was so fantastic to just kind of do this massive event and just prove to everyone that Maddie can do it and we're all going to do it as a team. Um, yeah, so I was really happy to do it. I was super keen. <laughs> and then we were finally able to just reach the top and it was just the most fantastic moment and we just gave each other hugs. There were tears. It was just like, yes, we finally did it. <laughs> Each of the members of my team helped me through my cancer journey in very unique ways. So all four of them are vastly different people and they've got vastly different experiences in their life. And I think that really showed through with how each of them helped me through my cancer journey. Um, so as anyone who's been through something challenging would know that you need someone who can sit with you through the dark times. Uh, and Ellie was fantastic for doing that. She sat with me through some pretty challenging emotions. She was incredibly supportive, validating, and just listened to me. Jack helped me through some of the darker moments and just basically highlighting how unfair a lot of it is. Um, and just how, you know, no one expects this to happen to them. No one creates this kind of situation. And to just be able to sit there and vent about how it fucking sucks is really good. Jack was fantastic for that. It's just kind of one of those things, when you, when you go through cancer, um, it's very isolating. You're going through an experience that a lot of people just don't understand um, and don't really know how to cope with. Um, so um, it's really important to be able to share these experiences with people who have gone through it and who do understand it. So the team, yeah, it definitely means a lot to me that we have pulled this together and um, I, can, I can, you know, come out and, and be part of it. Obviously, this is a pretty special thing for Maddie. Um, I think before Maddie touched on that there had been some people in our group who'd already gone through this experience or continuing to go through experience. And that, so one of those people was me. Um, and I, I sort of, Maddie and I are quite close. Um, we've been friends for quite a long time. And, and I understand how she feels in terms of wanting to get this done because um, I did a similar thing when I completed my cancer treatment. Um, so it was, you know, we were all really on board when she was like, hey, you know, do you want to climb Cozzy? Um, and yeah, I was just really honoured to be asked to come along and, and to be able to do this with her and, and help her get up the top. And obviously it's a really special thing for, for me as well to see somebody else getting through this. Um, Lachlan brought in this lovely positivity. He talked about life in general and everything outside of a cancer journey and to be able to step back away from something which you face every day is so important. Just listening to someone talk about just mundane daily life is incredibly valuable. Um, give you a little bit of a holiday. While Maddie was going through um, her cancer journey, um, for myself, I just did my best to provide a sense of normalcy for her. Um, you know, cancer is something that it provides a big upheaval to your life. So for me, the best thing I could do for her was just, you know, try not to make it so much of a big deal. Not that it wasn't a big deal, but just, you know, just to provide a sense of balance in her life that things can still go on and she, she will be okay. So for me, I just wanted to be, the, you know, just this, the good friend that she needed and just hang out with her, do things that we would normally do regardless and 
you know, whether that was having a little video game night every night once in a while, just to play games together and just, you know, put all the worries aside for a day and just enjoy the moment for what it is. Um, and she was really grateful for that. And was, I was really glad that I could provide that sort of support for her. We were just so excited for her when she reached the top. Um, you could tell there was this anticipation when we were rounding the last corner of the bend. And when she got there, you could tell that everyone was just so proud and happy for her. Um, yeah, I was really proud of her. <laughs> Stephen was really supportive in that he, he and his family helped to drive me through appointments, talk me through um, and keep me organised. And they also, I guess, sat with me through some pretty difficult times. Like when I came out of surgery and I couldn't really move, I couldn't really do anything for myself. And I was sitting with a lot of frustration. They were patient and calm and understanding and helped me to, I guess, feel like it was okay. When Maddie was going through um, her cancer journey, some of the things that um, myself and my family were able to do really well is we had a bit of a background with medical um, and we were noticing like there were things Maddie was doing, like she was just leaving stuff at the bottom of the stairs because she didn't want to carry it up and she couldn't carry it up a flight of stairs. So helping out, being like, look, we're noticing you're leaving your things. Do you want us to just grab things for you? Upstairs, downstairs. Um, it got to the point that my family said, look, Maddie, stay with us for a couple of days because that makes it easier. Um, Mum was you know, cooking and cleaning and she's saying, look, just relax. It's it's fine because it's it's a really tough time and it's also um, we were in the middle of the lockdown and nothing was open um, you couldn't go out for restaurants you couldn't get away from things so um, mum really kind of stepped up which was fantastic to see you know less than 12 months ago walking to like around the house walking to short distances was such a challenge and this has been the goal to beat and that was fantastic because we got to the top and we're like, wow, where's the rest of this thing? Let's keep going. I'm probably the most conservative person in the group. I'm kind of like, look guys, it's it's three o'clock. Do we really want to climb this extra bit of summit? Because we might get tired and we got work and they're like, yes, let's just keep going. And um, <laughs> it's trying to stop these guys is the challenge. What would you say to other people thinking about climbing closing? Go for it. <laughs> um, it's a challenge, especially if you do merits. The boardwalk bit is very long, but it's beautiful. And just everything about the climb is beautiful. Like you can't really complain. It's, it's just, you're in the middle of the mountains. There's just trees, there's crows, there's, there's just wildlife. It's, it's beautiful. And then reaching the peak is really cool. Yeah. <laughs>